Welcome to High Tea with Danu, presented by Truly Salon. Today we are checking out this brilliant place called Iso and speaking to a beautiful lady about her love for tea and everything Sri Lanka. And I'm with the man behind Iso, and that's Apinash, man of a few words. <laughs> well, now that we've got used to speaking more often, I think he'll speak more to me today. So you caught the biggest thing in our country, seafood. You know, we love seafood. Although we are islanders, we tend to sometimes overlook how beautiful it is and how other countries long for it. Um, creating this brand name Iso, did you feel that you were left with a small option? Just prawns, but you have gone to other things. Yeah, so we focus on prawn, about 80% of our menu. So the idea is to serve prawn dishes from around the world uh, in one place. 80% um, of our menu is, I would say, prawn. We have lobsters on our menu, we have octopus, we have fish, um, and often we do a special with crabs. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, let's speak about this love for Sri Lanka. You've always tried to promote everything Sri Lankan, everything local through your restaurant. Yeah. Uh, okay, so again, we are known for um, having good hospital. I mean, our hospitality is well known. You know, we're, we're very welcoming and amazing. Yeah. All right, so today is all about felicitating and celebrating the flavors of tea in food. Uh, it has been happening over the years. You you know about the fact that you know tea infused. Uh, food has always been there in fine dining restaurants. Uh, tea is such a beautiful thing if you know how to use it right. These guys have come up with some phenomenal dishes and our guest today does not know where the tea is. So we want to sort of like test her palate a little bit. But tell me, how did you sort of get inspired with Truly Salon or with any type of tea to sort of bring it in? So with Truly Salon, when we tried their products... The By the way, I did the introduction. <laughs> yeah, the quality was really good. I mean, even though it's like a tea bag, I mean, the flavor levels were really high. Um, so what we did was we started making, uh, we experimented making tea shakes, uh, which is like a milkshake but using a tea base, uh, iced teas. Um, today we've got, uh, we've, we, we've, made a, we've made a soup using green tea, and oh, wow. which is really interesting. And then um, we also want to try to make some sauces with teas, make some deserts with teas. Super. Uh, and yeah. All right. So uh, it's going to be amazing to see what what might eventually end up on the menu. Are you planning on bringing any of these to the menu? Um, all the drinks are already on the menu. Um, the soup, I really like it. I might put it out in Jan onto the menu. All right. So uh, I wish you all the very best, Anna. COVID has been such a crippling thing, and uh, he was championing a cause. I think for all the local restaurants who are trying to, you know, uh, bring their own brand out there to uh, face less corruption in this so-called restaurant institute yeah. and just help each other grow and uh, we were all a part of it and it was amazing to work with uh, such a young bunch of people who have come forward to create entrepreneurship that's also good for the country, economy and themselves. Yeah. So I wish you all the very best Thank and you I, very much. I hope you go bigger and uh, just go greater. All right, on that note, we're going to get into what's on the menu. That's my favorite part. I don't know, all through my life, my shows are connected to food and people. You can't blame me, man. fact. We'll see you after. coming and that is her, Tatiana. Hello. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. All right, so uh, we're talking about Lankan food, uh, Lankan love for tea, all of this very Lankan. Yeah. Um, so I want you to first take a wild guess on what is actually tea infused here. Everything could be tea infused. Mm -hmm. but, but you have to kind of guess it. So do I taste and guess? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So you also try it in with me. 
This has been kept right in front, guys. Please ask T. What? This. Wrong. <gasps> what? That has no T. Don't lie. If you don't feel the T, that means that that is also a talent. Uh, no, there is no T in this. This has. This has something. That has T. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you some points for it. Thanks. Actually, that's that's all we have T. <laughs> but do you find the flavor interesting? Yeah. I do. It's actually green tea. Oh really? Yeah. If you don't want to drink it, you can just now have it in your meal. Makes That's life so much yeah, more easier. Yeah, two in one, no? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. All right. So just to let you know, we have some uh, great food here. And it's all very Sri Lankan, as you could see. And that's the most important thing. Let's speak about you. Are you good in your kitchen? I like to think so. Like, I, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, you should be a great cook, but I'm just asking, are you like can you can you survive? I can manage. You can survive. I can. My husband would say otherwise. Okay. But, um, he's a very hard man. But please. have you all have you all each tried cooking different days? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Chichi has cooked for me um, when like ten years ago. Oh, when you all were going out. When he was trying to impress me, and then that was it. Then so you got, a, that's the problem. You said yes too fast. I did. Kept it going, they've been going till today. Yes. yes. Yeah. And then he cooked recently during lockdown uh. because there was absolutely nothing to do. He cooked one day, but that was it. But he's a good cook when he puts the effort, effort in. to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, so uh, in terms of in terms of uh, tea, mm. are you a tea drinker? Like a lot of people I only am. come from a tea loving country. I don't know a lot of people. I am, I am. I am. Are you? Are? Yeah. Are you like the three o'clock day person? I am the morning tea person. Ah, really? Yeah. Okay. I need. I couldn't wake up without the tea in the morning. That had to be given. And, and how is your kiri intake with your day? Kiri or kiri? It's uh, yeah. It's kiri. Kiri. It has to be thick. Ah. It has to be thick. Oh, one of those. Yeah. Kiri and tea. My aunt calls it insipid. When I make tea for her, uh. she calls my tea insipid. Mm -hmm. I very happily made a cup of tea and went and gave it to her <laughs> and I was so happy and then she said this tea looks insipid and then I had to, I think she made her own, own thing after yeah. that. Yeah, but have you found mm. that tea tastes better in the upcountry with the water? Ah, really? Yeah, I find that bit, if we go to Nore area or somewhere upcountry, the tea tastes better there with the water. Ooh. Same tea, yeah? The same tea and making it there, it tastes better. Try to think about it next time when you're oh. up in the hills. Alright, oh, okay. It's the water you mean. I I feel like there's a less pollution. Fresher. Okay. Something. Or maybe the surrounding. You just have a nicer view oh, to bring probably it. Probably with the weather and, and nicer. Yeah. Like yeah, I think it goes hand in hand. Yeah. No wonder all these pictures have like like always tea yeah see yeah. nobody's drinking tea like in a bib in like <laughs> against a white wall no that's yeah true, that's true. so that's the difference i think yeah. that's brilliant all right so for those who are watching we are trying to like ask you asking you to sort of incorporate uh, as many local ingredients you can onto into your food into your lifestyle to uh, promote what life is all about uh, in sri lanka yeah. uh, how has covid treated you it's um it's been different Mm. But it's been good. I mean, it's uh, it's given us more time at home, especially for us with the little one. Mm. We were able to really foster this time and make the most of it and actually be with him the whole time. So we we had a lot of new experiences. We were there for a lot of firsts. It was good. I mean, we wouldn't have definitely spent this much time if, you know, things yeah, were normal. True. Because so. it was like lockdown, you have no choice but yeah. to spend time with him. Put in the work, yeah. deal with everything and um, it was good. It was okay. good. Yeah. And were you, were you those mums who were like very, you know, go through the books when you are bringing up the kid, make sure no, no sugar, no salt, no that, no this? My son is a different type of child. Right. Everything that I read, everything that I thought I knew about Flew children out went out the window. I have three sisters and a brother. Uh -huh. And um, this one is different. He's just—he's <laughs> a lot. 
So you literally didn't follow the normal because he wouldn't allow you to follow. No, no, no. Yesterday, I, I, I actually met this other mum who's a textbook mum, mm. and she scared the living daylights out of me. She's like, "This is wrong. This is wrong, and that is wrong." Uh. And oh, I was like, "Oh dear, what have we gotten mm -hmm. ourselves into?" <laughs> but he's perfectly fine, which is a great thing. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, trial and error. He's a naughty child. Next time fine. around, you can follow the book. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let you enjoy your green tea okay. uh, based soup, soup while we wait for dessert. We'll see you right after. Okay, so during this break... Can I stop you for oh, a yeah, second? Sorry. Did you know I just clarified with the people oh, no. this <laughs> actually had tea in it. So you were wrong. But see, I got the soup right. That's because I knew That's about That's because you knew about it. You should have known about this I as well. I actually didn't know about it. You got me second guessing myself first. I was like, what? No. But it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. We make we all make mistakes. That is true. But it, this is really nice though. It is, it is. Yeah. Very nice. Um, how did you figure it out? I know, I know. My because you also didn't know about this part, right? No. You got it just out of the flavor. Yeah. Tell me the truth. Yes. How else? I wasn't told, I wasn't briefed before this. Maestro, you're a maestro, I must say. Thanks, thanks, yeah. thanks. Well, that's because you're a early morning tea drinker. I am, I am. Yeah. And, I, and I like the tea also, so I know. Ah, yeah. Just I must say, uh, I'm a big fan of the, I should not say that always, but it's the truth. So I like the lemon one, it's my favorite. The oh, like the green jasmine tea. green tea. Ah, I'm the lemon green tea fan. Ah, you're one yeah. of those. Yeah. Like I have never understood this jasmine love that everyone seems to be having. It's so calming, soothing. Okay. Reminds me of school days. You didn't no. have fried ice cream in school, Danu? <laughs> None of us did. You mean the, the ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what? No. It's the icing part. Ah, the cream. Yeah. Ah. It reminds me of school days. Like, you know that donuts, you get fried donuts with icing on top. We didn't have those in our canteen. But school, did you go to you to posh schools? No, I mean, Let's not talk about exactly. it. Exactly. So our school was in Bamba and ah. people used to sell over through the gate. No. Our, our, our rector used to come and hammer us, <laughs> saying don't buy that and die here and blame the school for it. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so let's say bye. No? Ah. You get all the flavors. I know, I have. Not it, this is for real. Yeah, I know, I know, I have all. I like it. You checked inside thinking as if I was just doing a plain bag. Okay, enjoy. Oh, babe, this, you're recording this? Yeah, this is for you. Ah, okay, thanks, thanks. Accept for me. No, babe. No, I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, um, you know this is what we drink at home. This is what we drink at home. Oh really? Oh, really? Yeah, even when I go out of Colombo, I take the green tea with me and go. The jasmine, the jasmine one is the there. The jasmine, the lemon, everything. You just said, you just said no, you don't drink the lemon so much. I don't, but I have other people who drink the lemon. Ah, ah right, so you're married. No, I forgot about that part. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, let's say goodbye. Thank you so very much for joining us uh, to for join me for a little camera session. And I will see you soon. Yes. All right. So that's it for this uh, high tea session. We will see you with another cool episode. Till then, you enjoy everything local and drink your tea on time. Bye.